Hello, and welcome to the Book Marketing Simplified Podcast. I'm Jen Hansen DePaula. And I'm Marcus DePaula. And once again, we've come across the popular topic of growing your audience. Seems like one of the most common questions that not just authors are asking, but pretty much anybody doing marketing yes. online, which makes sense. <laughs> yes. You've come up with a new list of five mistakes that you've been seeing authors make when they're trying to grow their audience on Instagram. When I talk about mistakes, many authors have responded to me saying, I always cringe because I'm so afraid that I'm doing the wrong thing. And it's not necessarily that. We're finding out new ways to do things all the time. Yes. So the five mistakes that we make aren't detrimental to your growth. It's just It's things that we can adjust and switch. And do better. Exactly. And one of those things is having clear goals in mind, meaning this, we can't just say, I want to grow an audience. That's not clear enough of a goal. That's very vague. (laughs) Very, very vague. What I would encourage authors to do is to really set clear, realistic goals, Mm -hmm. meaning this. Let's say you want to grow your audience by 100 new followers in less than a month. Mm -hmm. So that would mean that you would need to grow by three people every single day. If you say, I want to grow my engagement, saying, I'm going to connect with five people every single day. Mm -hmm. You need to have very clear goals and create tasks that are doable to you and your schedule to accomplish those goals. So knowing exactly what you want and not being vague about it is really, really important. The reason for the goals is so that everything you're doing has some sort of intention, some sort of purpose, and that's the goal of the goals. Absolutely. And when you have a goal, you have something to aim at and you have something specific that you need to accomplish. And so when you make a goal very vague, it's very hard to reach that goal. So being very specific and mindful of what you want to accomplish will help you to not only make the right decisions to get to that goal, but it will help you achieve it faster. Yes. All right. So that's the first mistake. Mm -hmm. People not being intentional enough, not setting goals for themselves. What's the second mistake you're seeing authors make? The second one is not having the right mindset. Okay. I talk to so many authors who contact me because they just want to get a publishing deal. Yeah. They just want to get the attention. Which is a goal. Oh, absolutely. And there, there is absolutely nothing wrong with that. But if you're just trying to collect a following to appease a publisher or an agent, you're completely missing the point. Right. Because... Once you do get that agent and once you do get that publishing deal, you need to follow through on your end of this deal because you have an audience. Well, and there's this misconception that once I have an agent, once I have a publisher, all I need to do is write. Now, I don't have to do anything else. They, they've got teams of people that are going to take care of my marketing and my website and all this stuff. Yeah. And that's not true. I see more and more agents that I respect that are stating these hard truths up front to not misguide or mislead authors because it is a lot of work, but it doesn't have to take over your life. Your marketing should not take you away from writing. It's just there to enhance it. And you can do both at the same time. But when you have the right mindset of thinking, okay, I am not doing this social media just to get a publisher. I'm there to connect with readers because that is going to be the foundation that everything is built on, the success of your book. Because once you do get that publishing deal, the publishers are going to be heavily relying on your relationships with your audience. And this is your platform as an author. You could change agents in the future throughout Mm -hmm. your career. You could change publishers. You could self-publish. What you're doing on social media, connecting with your readers, is a direct connection you have to them regardless of any of the other people that are a part of your... Uh, Yes, and you can't just rely on your publisher 
tweeting about your book yeah. or posting something about your book on Instagram and it taking off. Mm -hmm. That's not how it works. So you having your own audience of people that are attentive to you, that are anxiously awaiting and excited for your book, mm -hmm. that's what you want. All right. So what's our third mistake that we're seeing authors make? I had a question from an author earlier this week asking about how much they should promote themselves versus their book. That's a good question. It is a very good question, but I think we get hung up on the word promotion Okay. because Instagram is not about promotion. Instagram is about connection. Okay. And so of course we can talk that, you know, like we have a book coming, we can make people aware of that, but Instagram is not the place to sell. What we're doing is we're connecting. And so when you approach social media as a whole as just promotion, you're going to miss the boat because readers can smell promotion a mile away. They smell marketing a mile away. It's another mindset adjustment, but knowing that Instagram is about connection, not promoting yourself and your book all the time. I keep going back to the metaphor of the cocktail party mm -hmm. and the flip side of that, the mistake in this promotional mindset is like you walk into a room full of people who are just hanging out and you start passing out business cards or flyers or mm -hmm. something like that before even saying anything to them. Whereas social media is the party. You're there to connect with people like you're saying. Yes. And so I love that metaphor because it's hard sometimes to dispel with that promotional mindset. And again, going back to the mindset idea, you're right. I do see way too many people, not just authors, but in any industry that see every single social media platform as just their way to broadcast or be a billboard for whatever they're selling. Yeah. And there definitely is a time to promote. Sure. But that comes within a certain time frame. So once again, putting yourself in the shoes of the ideal reader, do they go to Instagram to just look at ads for things? That's a really great way to put it. They don't. Honestly, readers complain about yeah, having to see ads. so many ads. So you don't want to fall into that because they're just going to completely bypass you. So focusing on that connection, creating that connection as a human being, mm -hmm. as someone who has similar interests as your ideal reader, and really nurture that. And giving them something that's worth their time to invest in following you on Instagram. So when they see one of your reels, one of your posts, they'll stop and say, ooh, there's something new from my favorite author. Which actually leads to the next point. Another mistake is when authors do not focus on engagement. Mm. They look at just collecting a number of followers. It doesn't take anything to just like someone yeah. or to follow someone. Right. You want them to engage because engagement really is the key to growth, mm -hmm. meaning this, when you engage with your audience and not just on your content, but on their content as well, that is telling Instagram's algorithm that you are both interested in what each other has to say. Mm -hmm. And so they are going to make you and your posts more visible. And so more visibility brings in even more engagement and more engagement means that people are going to be sharing your content, that they're going to be saving it, that they're going to be commenting. And that is organic growth. That is something that we all want. Mm -hmm. And when new followers come along and they see, oh, wow, they're really engaged with their audience. They take the time to talk to people. Yeah. They're not just posting and ghosting. I wonder if they'll respond to my comment. Exactly. So when... You take the time, and that's the thing, it does not have to take that much time. When you take a few minutes a day to focus on engagement, you will see growth and you'll see people sticking around and actually doing what you ask them to do, which is go sign up for your newsletter, go to your website, or to go buy your book. And that time invested in the engagement, responding to people analyzing to see what people are responding mm -hmm. to 
it's all part of your marketing process. So you're investing your time instead of just investing money in ads, you're investing your time in meaningful connections. Absolutely. So when I step back and start to look at these first four points of having clear goals, having the right mindset, not just using it as a promotion, taking time to invest in authentic engagement, all of these things work together to lead people to your website, to sign up to your email list. All of these pieces come together to ultimately help you sell more books. That's the goal Mm -hmm. of this. Instagram is just one part of your overall platform and be able to see how these different elements come together and work is kind of magical. It is. And it's something that actually leads to the last point. The biggest mistake that authors make is not having a strategy. Uh And when you don't have a strategy in mind, meaning you are just kind of throwing things against the wall to see if they stick and you really aren't sure what to post, you aren't sure what you need to be doing, that is going to make social media, A, be a drag, Mm -hmm. and B, not work. The biggest thing that authors can do to really not only grow their audience and see more engagement and to actually have these people do what we ask them to do, it's to really be focused in on the strategy behind everything that you're doing on social media, online, to drive people to the ultimate purpose, which is to buy your book. So we're using a lot of buzzwords here. Yes. We're talking about goals. We're talking about strategy. We're talking about engagement. But it comes down to this, like what I was alluding to earlier, is you have all these pieces, all these milestones that you're going for, which are the goals. Those are the measurable things that you're trying to get. And the strategy is just kind of the overall game plan is what you're saying, that everything is working together for a purpose, that intentionality that we mentioned before. And it takes time to develop and your strategy can adjust. Absolutely. When you know your goals, Mm -hmm. When you know what you want to accomplish and how to communicate with your audience, that strategy is going to be easy. Mm -hmm. I remember working on marketing plans for the record labels and everything, and they were pages and pages and pages. It was ridiculous. (laughs) And I would look at that and go, there's no way this is all happening. Mm -hmm. And half of it never did. And so that's when I really started focusing on, okay, what are three to four things that we can do really, really, really well and actually accomplish those things. This is starting to sound like a make it happen moment here. It is. (laughs) (laughs) So yes, today's make it happen moment is to actually do a brain dump to get everything out of your head, but focus on just three things, whether that be posting three times a week and being consistent with that, whether that is writing down your goal for a number of followers that you want to grow every week, whatever that is, write down three ideas that you can accomplish and put them to work. You don't have to do everything. And they don't have to be these big, massive achievements by any means. It's all baby steps. Absolutely. And to help you with your strategy, we've actually been working really hard on some exciting new stuff. Yes. And we are very anxious to talk about it. And we will be announcing this in the next few weeks. We're going to be announcing it to our newsletter subscribers first. So go to mixusmedia.com to sign up. And as always, we really appreciate you listening. Thank you so much. And we'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.